What's up everybody, Alien here with another quick guide video for Myth of Vampires. This time we're going to show you guys how we tame a rhino as well as an elephant. We're going to be using a rhino for example here because it's close by. But first off you're going to need your giant animal cage with the giant animal door. And you can unlock that here in your crafting recipes under cart and cage all the way at the end. It's a level 50 giant animal cage, giant animal door at level 50. You need two points each to unlock it. What you'll also need for this in your taming and recruit you're going to need this the specially made dry fodder it's made with grass bark and high quality barley and it's going to give you the most amount of taming obedience when they're knocked out in the cage so let's go find us a rhino and bring it back all right so i've located my rhino i'm going to just go over there and smack it and start bringing them back to base Good smack and he's following me. They won't be able to catch you on horseback. They're pretty slow. So that's good. Just make sure you don't lose aggro on them. And bring them back to wherever you need to. Alright. And just like that, we ran him right into the cage. And he's stuck. So now at this point, you would just hop up here and take your swings at him. Until he's knocked out. They don't have that big of a hitbox. They have to be in front of you, so it's pretty easy to just stay on their ass and keep smacking. And there he goes. Now, you got your rhino in your cage. You're going to need your specially made dry fodder. So once he's down, put the dry father in there and the obedience will start. So the reason you want the cage is because when they're in the cage being subdued, the obedience will actually move faster. And a rhino's obedience is very, very slow and they go through full food quite fast. So as you can see here, I had 100 specially made dry fodder and it's already down to 88. So, and his obedience hasn't moved. So be ready to watch for your rhino for a while and either have a lot of this ready to go or spend a lot of coin to get the food you need to tame a rhino. If you notice also the torpidity is moving down pretty quick, they wake up pretty often so you're going to need to keep knocking them out and putting the fodder back into their pocket. You are 100% going to be sitting here watching this rhino for a while. Here we are, we're still waiting. As you can see he's about to wake up for the first time and the obedience has really gone nowhere. So he'll wake up and we go back to knocking him out. Now you can see when he woke up that the food that he had dropped to the ground and you gotta put it back in. So they wake up so often and you're gonna have to keep knocking them out and putting the food back in their pocket. It's not something you can AFK, you can't put your warrior on this cage. You just have to sit here and watch this rhino. So that's basically how you get a rhino guys. Be ready to have a lot of materials ready to go for them. Same thing with an elephant and get ready to sit there watching them for at least an hour <laughs> so i hope you guys found this video entertaining and informative and i will catch y'all in the next video see ya <laughs>